what's good YouTube? So a lot of you guys have asked me about equipment in my previous videos. I'm going to go ahead and go over a few things here. So a lot of you wonder how I get that nice tabletop setting. And it actually only is going to cost you, if you already have a Logitech camera, $20 and a roll of electric tape. So here we are, my nice rig. And uh, this, this microphone stand actually only costs $20. And uh, what it does, you can actually lift it up and down, so this can give you a nice uh, other angle and your camera can complement it. And you can adjust this right here, up and down, up and down, so you're able to get the height that you want. And then on top of it, your Logitech cameras, all of them, uh, I have one in my hand actually, uh, so your Logitech cameras, all of them, can actually swivel their heads as well and give you different tilted angles, uh, but you want to still tape the base firmly to the end of your microphone stand and it also can uh, swivel here as we'll show you on my tabletop cameras. I have to shout out Alinthio for the Logitech C930 advice and we'll get into how that works here in a second, but uh, Originally, I started with the Logitech C920 for my overhead camera, and I still use them for my player cameras. And uh, it will work for you in controlled lighting situations, but this was definitely a needed upgrade for streaming regionals, and we'll get into this. But overall, this is a $50 on sale Black Friday item slash Cyber Monday. This is a nice piece of $20 equipment that gets you multiple angles and levels for pack openings and other things. And uh, this is $100 if you want the upgrade and you cannot control your lighting. And the microphone, you can get a Snowball for $50, the Nessie I got for $70, and a Blue Yeti on sale Black Friday is $100, but usually $120. Uh, the microphones on these really are terrible. Do not use the microphones on these. Now, if you are using a desktop like me, and not a laptop where you can be conveniently anywhere, these USB's extension cords are also very nice, so your rig can be nice and away from the table itself, and so you're not going to shake when it shakes and all that stuff. And that's the other advantage here of the microphone stand. You're away from the table, so when this shakes, your camera is not. And you might notice that in a lot of other people's videos. So now what I'm going to show you on my desktop is what the C930 has to offer for the $50 higher price point that you probably need as a duelist uh, if you cannot control your lighting. And I have to again say... Alinthio is the one who showed me this camera, and it is absolutely amazing. So here we go over into the settings, and uh, we can configure the video input. Now, look at all these awesome things here. We have brightness, contrast, uh, hue, saturation, sharpness, gamma, white balance even, uh, gain. And then we go over to camera control. We actually have zoom. Like, look, we can zoom. Uh, we can focus uh, differently. Um we have all these things, exposure, uh, you have a lot of things, and then we have pan and tilt. One other thing to note about XSplit and OBS is that it likes different kinds of cameras in the input. If you have, say, all uh, Logitech 920s, they'll all kind of try to go through the same part in XSplit and OBS and butt heads and like try to recognize as the same device. But if you have a 930 and uh, your two 920s, uh, the 920s will still butt heads a little, but the, they're on different roads now into your system. And trying not to be too loud or move too much, this is my Blue Yeti, which is a uh, $100 mic, as I mentioned, 120 off sale. Um, you can get it for 90 on Black Friday slash Cyber Monday, I believe, but definitely an amazing piece of equipment, a huge upgrade from the Snowball. Again, a lot of these are double ups, but for the intensive purpose, my very first videos that had amazing overhead quality with uh, zero uh, problems, as you all saw back in the old days, but zero player cameras as well. So all these investments together, a $20 microphone stand, a $3 roll of tape, uh, a $50 mic itself, and a $50 web camera, you can get the same uh, kind of quality of my first duels 
for $125. And I kind of had this selfish perception of, oh, this is a trade secret. These are kinds of the things I've learned through time. But after realizing everything, I want the entire community to have the best kind of content that we can have. Because if I create my own competition, I'm going to continue to get better. And I'm always going to continue to get better. And I think our production quality as a whole in the community should be really good. No more shaky duels. No more anything. So you don't have excuses. This is a $23 fix for your web camera to be up. And you could probably even do it with a regular camera if you were had enough tape. But that would be really annoying to do over and over. So that's why I suggest the web camera. Because you're never going to be removing it probably so thanks for watching guys i hope this didn't bore you too much if you're kind of he always here for videos but i wanted to show exactly how i get my angles exactly why my upgraded equipment is better but what you can get for just you know about 125 to uh 50 pieces of equipment the camera and the mic the 20 dollars stand and a three dollar roll of tape that's 123 dollars and then 20 dollars of extension cords so for less than 150 you can start getting those kind of high quality duels so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this uh if you guys uh you know do anything amazing from this please always support the patreon because i do like the help but uh Another way you can support me, if you get some amazing duels using these angles, send them on in and I will feature them if they are awesome. Thanks for watching, guys.